behind the scenes with Dr. Muto. <laughs> Doctor, you know. I'm the producer. I'll fire your ass. I am actually the senior producer inside of Midway Games West. My job is actually running the development team who makes Dr. Muto. Game designers work really, really hard for a living. They work a lot harder than most people. The game itself is designed to have a bit of a wacky sense to it. Obviously, you look at him as a mad scientist. He's kind of the mismatched socks. His tie has kind of a goofy look. Doesn't look like he's very well kept. So he's a bit of an insane person. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. I think the thing I'm most proud of about this game is the the concept in in, in general. Something's screwing up. Uh, Stig is the world builder on the lab level, and we're going to be reviewing it so that we can finish this up for our for our project. What are those things? That's strange. I guess I made a mistake. What what happened? We'll be back after these messages. Crap! We wanted to base worlds based on the models that we had for morphing characters. So what we did is we took each world and said, okay, this is going to be the walking world, this is going to be the swimming world, this is going to be the flying world, this is going to be the jungle world for climbing character. We find that by creating these worlds and theming them out that way, the artists are able to continue along that vision and get the game levels done faster because they have an idea for the characters that are going to be running around in the world. I'm most proud of Dr. Muto, the character. We're recording the magnificently talented Wally Fields. Wally Fields, Wally's weird voices. Man of many voices and uh, master of all. We need all the isotopes you can find and any DNA you can harvest from the native fauna. I don't know why, but I identify with bespectacled mad scientists with weird hairstyles. Don't ask me why. Yeah, to me, morphine was, the, you know, really the key aspect of the game. And so the first thing that I did was, you know, go off and do the, you know, guppy and swim around and say, yeah, that, that was fun swimming. Or do the horsefly and say, yeah, that, that was fun flying around as a horsefly. Or doing the spider and saying, wow, this is really unique. And that's something that's never been done before. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! Um, Dr. Muto has actually been a really fun character to work with, so uh, very expressive. Uh, we've been able to, uh, to build a rig that's uh, pretty complex, has a lot of uh, emotion to it, uh, something that's very expressive, so it's, it's been a lot of fun to work on. <laughs> Dr. Muto lived on planet Midway, where things were getting bad, or so they say. Dr. Muto tried to create his own power, so Midway wouldn't have to be chopped by the hour. Now Midway was starting to get in a jam, but when Muto turned it on, Midway went kablam! Dr. Muto, the mad scientist, he's Dr. Muto, and he ain't never been kissed. He's Dr. Muto, and now his rep has been dissed. Uh.